Good morning from the Disney Magic. It's day five on our six night cruise here on the Western Caribbean and it's a day at sea. We have a lot of free time today to do whatever we want around the ship and we have a couple things planned though. In a few hours we have chocolate and liqueur tasting which we've never done before. Super pumped about that. Yeah. Tonight uh, we're gonna try something with our table. Uh, we found out a few nights ago that you can pre-order Indian food and so we're getting that family style. So looking forward to trying that. We've never done that before as well. We've already seen a number of characters around the ship. Actually, Goofy is right down there. <laughs> and we just saw him in the hallway. And as we were coming up here as well, we saw like four princesses out here meeting and greeting with kids. It was so fun. Yeah, we were about to start filming this and I was watching the princesses hug the little girls. I got teary because they were, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get teary again. She did. <laughs> it just reminded me of when our kids were little and that was just so, so special. And it was just so cute to see this little girl hugging Cinderella and then like run back to her dad. And oh my gosh, it was so sweet. So yeah. it's just, that's one of the great things on the ship there's so many characters there's so many fun things to do and our family's not really at that stage anymore it's still really fun to see them but it's so fun that there's something for every age really well we already had breakfast this morning at cabanas and it was a quick one it was just carrie and i Alyssa, i think went in there to meet up with her friends to get breakfast Lindsay was taking her time in the stateroom this morning yep she's hopefully gotten breakfast by now <laughs> If but, not, there is food everywhere. Yes, there's <laughs> never a shortage of food there's on a Disney cruise. Boxes. We're gonna just wander around and find something fun to do for a little bit. I remember we were saying a few days ago, maybe on the day at sea, we could show what all the food options are. Oh, yeah. So maybe we could show them. There's so many things on the, the pool deck area and mm. then other places around the ship where you can always grab a bite to eat. So we'll show you. Yep. So this is Pinocchio's Pizza. They have cheese and pepperoni every day, and they also have specialty pizzas every day, and it is delicious. And right next to Pinocchio's Pizza, they also have a bar right by the family pool area. So if you are hanging out and your family is in the pool, you can also grab a drink. All right, so here is the Deccan Diner. It's right next to the Aqua Lab, and there is shawarma, there's fries and chicken tenders and burgers and all kinds of toppings for any of it. So we found Lindsay at Frozone Treats. Next to the ice cream. What are you getting? I'm getting the look for the first time on the cruise because every cruise we're saying like, oh yeah, we're gonna get it this time, but we've never gotten it. So I'm finally gonna get it. Dole whip. Dole. Dole whip. <laughs> Not Lindsay, but others who are older could also add rum to their Dole whip. A regular Dole whip is six dollars. Myers rum is eight fifty. So this is something that is extra. All the other food that we showed you so far is free or included, I should say. You can also get a specialty sipper cup here along with smoothies and a bunch of other options as well. And here we got ice cream where you can get soft serve. This is included with the cost of your cruise. And today's special flavor is mango. Every day they have a special flavor along with chocolate and vanilla. I am pumped to try mango. It's one of my favorites. Also something helpful to know for uh, ice cream where the soft serve is, if you, at, if you see a crew member, ask them to get a cup with a spoon and they'll give you a drink cup to put Put your soft serve in. You can fit a lot more in there than we can on your cone. It's a lot less messy because you won't have soft serve dripping all over your hand. Lindsay just got her Dole Whip and she added vanilla soft serve. Yeah, because it's like, it's very runny. That doesn't look like what you get in the parks. Yeah, it's good. It's just, it is a bit runny. I don't think it's exactly worth six bucks, but it's not bad. Good to know. If you're craving that Dole Whip flavor, you can get it on Disney Cruise. So we're about to show you Daisy's delights, but first I want to show Chris something exciting. They have quinoa here. Chris loves quinoa. You're funny. So one of the things you can do at Daisy's delights is build a bowl. They have all kinds of toppings. They've got rice, they've got quinoa, they've got noodles, um, and then there's all kinds of toppings you can put on top of them. They also have paninis. They've got fruit. They've got sandwiches and wraps. Oh, and they have salads with all different kinds of dressing over here too. We are in the Cove Cafe, which is in the Quiet Cove area, which is the adults only area. Cove Cafe has all kinds of delicious coffees that you can purchase, but they also have really yummy treats that are here for free. So this is pretty neat. In the Cove Cafe, they have this TV that shows where all the Disney uh, ships are. I think this is our route. And that shows now where the Disney Fantasy is. And then at one point it shows where all the ships are at one time. So that's pretty neat. On the Disney Magic, those are all of the included food options that you can find on Deck Nine. Uh, there's one other spot in the Quiet Cove area, the Signals Bar, that there's just a lot of people at, so we don't want to film there. Next, we're going to show you guys uh, the room service uh, menu and what that's like getting room service. We're going to do that a little bit later after the chocolate and the court tasting. 
So I just came back to our stateroom and our stateroom host, Jarrett, is here doing an awesome job. We've loved having him this week. Hello there. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome there. It's my pleasure. <laughs> just got back here too and saw some pixie dust gifts for the girls. We came into Keys for the chocolate and the core tasting with our friends, the Overbecks. So looking forward to doing this with friends, connecting with them, but also enjoying some really good looking concoctions, both chocolate and wine and spirits and all sorts of things. Hello. You guys excited? Yes, we are we're very excited. This looks amazing. I know. So it looks like we have some cheese and obviously some chocolates, some liquid or drinkable chocolate that looks amazing and you got four other drinks here that we get to try i would like to present also my team here two lovely sommelier that i work with most of the time in a champagne you find a trio of friends chardonnay pinot noir and pinot Meunier. capsule like black currant and some leather i have merlot and reminds me about the blueberry tart by Let's enjoy beautiful sample of Noval 10 years Tony Port. Wow, that's really sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet, yeah. Great whiskeys are coming from India, for example, I'm root. Plus, for any kind of alcoholic beverage in order to see, to evaluate exactly like what I would like to highlight, putting on the side at least the color. Not a fan. No. <laughs> whiskey that I mentioned. It's good with the chocolate. For example, the Thalys curve. Alright, I'll try it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our presentation for today. Thank you so much for coming. All right, so it was really hard when we first saw these chocolates to not just eat them <laughs> before the pairing started. The darker chocolate side of that cup is really tasty. Oh, the uh, soft dark chocolate in the like little coffee mug? Yeah, that was really good. That with the port was amazing. I meant this one. Oh, the milk chocolate. That's because I chugged it. <laughs> it tasted really good by itself. It's like a mousse. Do you guys have a favorite? The chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> True. I think the port, the port with the dark chocolate. Port with was, the dark chocolate. Yeah. Was mm, that was my favorite. Yeah. Yep. Although I was surprised that the uh, the blend of the milk chocolate, milk and white chocolate with the whiskey was actually pretty good. Yes, it was. I was surprised by that. I didn't know that water made whiskey better either. Yeah. I think he said it enhances the flavors more. That's why I didn't really want to add the water. But once I had the chocolate with it, it was good. With the whiskey? Yeah. Yeah, and you're not a whiskey or bourbon drinker. I just really don't like the smell. Yeah, what did you say it made you think of? Lots of bad mistakes. <laughs> I mean, all mistakes are bad, so just mistakes in general. Yeah. Let's do a picture together, no? This is Danny, he's our sommelier, and uh, let our class for the chocolate liqueur, he did an amazing job. Cheers. <laughs> So we're sitting outside of Keys, and we uh, just got done with the uh, tasting. And it was so fun hanging out with the Overbecks and also uh, Anna and Michael. A couple other viewers were in there with us. It was just a lot of fun doing a tasting like that, especially when it's like was paired with like cheese and mostly chocolate. It, it was fun, and now I'm sleepy. Especially because you know she's like chilling in a porthole. It's nice and warm right here, but not like too hot. But I think we will go back up to the room and get some room service and probably sit on the balcony, but I am pretty comfy here, so it's kind of tempting to stay. Cruise decisions. I know, it's so hard. <laughs> so I wanted to show you also where the water refill station is. All the ships we've been on have water refill stations like this, and here on the Magic it is both sides on deck four forward. We have water. So we're back in the stateroom, and Alyssa found something. I found this cute little duck. Look at that thing. That is so cool. Here's a little gold necklace, a hat, some sunglasses, and the little like. He donut is suit. living the best life, yes. best little rubber ducky life. Yeah, I'm gonna collect ducks, and he's gonna be the duck king. Oh, he's gonna <laughs> be the duck king. Conquacalations from Marcus and Kathy Peterson from New Albany, Mexico. 
uh, Mississippi. And here is their tag. I'm gonna keep You're gonna it. keep it, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah. keep it. Yeah, sometimes you can keep those. You can also rehide them too. All right, what are you gonna do this afternoon? Uh, I might go on the Aqua Duncan. We we're showing you some of the free food options on board. And one great thing about Disney is all of the room service is included. Uh, most people suggest that you tip $1 per item. But um, the, the Navigator app is great. I mean, it's so easy to find all the things that are available each day, where the characters will be, what all of the dining um, options are, when they're open, where they are, all that kind of stuff. So one of them is room service, and this is where you find the menu. You can find any of the menus for the restaurants here also. And um, they have a, a cheese plate, cheese and fruit plate, salads, soup, macaroni and cheese, chicken tenders, hot dogs, hamburgers, buffalo wings, pizzas, paninis. A li Lindsay's favorite is the New York State panini, which I don't think she's gotten yet. I might get that today. We can get key lime pie, cake of the day, pie of the day, warm cookies and milk. We haven't had the best luck with the cookies and milk because the cookies on Disney Cruise tend to be a little bit overbaked. Yeah, apparently they used to be a lot better, but I say we try again. 35 to 45 minutes. Oh. Usually it's faster, but it's an Etsy day. So I just went up to the pool deck to get a few pieces of pizza and some coffees for us from Cove Cafe. Carrie wants to show this pizza that she's been dying to have. So there's always uh, two different pizzas of the day. One of them is vegetarian and the pizza of the day that's vegetarian is eggplant with um, roasted vegetables, which is like my favorite pizza. I love roasted vegetables and I love, love eggplant. So I'm really excited to try this. I love Pinocchio's pizza. So good. I got us a salted caramel coconut latte and a pumpkin pie latte from Cove Cafe. So we're just gonna relax out here, eat some lunch, wait for our room service, which is more lunch and more dessert. Iced latte. Iced, because it's it's a very it's actually a really nice day. It's not too hot, not too humid. You can't get too mad about this view right now. One of the reasons we love having a veranda, and also Carrie loves having a veranda so she can hang outside and read a book, mm -hmm. which she's been doing. Room service is here. Let's show you what we got. So this is not on the menu, but it is a secret item. The Mickey bar that is free. And those melt fast. So yes, the, our rule for those is eat those first. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise yes. they turn really soupy. So, and then, um, oh, this is the BLT. And this is the steak sandwich. That's our favorite. There's the other steak sandwich. I think they forgot our cake of the day. And we have two oatmeal cookies and two chocolate chip cookies did you ask for them warm no oh sorry oh that's know. okay they don't look that good but oh yeah you can hear that crunch they're always a little bit too well or a lot too well done some people love them we're like nah. compared to your cookies or Lindsay's cookies you guys kill it of course we do all right time for the mickey bar so if you have a small child um, or really, I mean, you can have any age person, but there's so many desserts every night, but they basically automatically will bring the kids a Mickey bar with dinner every night and they put a bunch of sprinkles on top right in front of you and make it really fun. Ooh. And those can be like, I think six to eight bucks in the parks. Oh wow. And these are included with the cost of your cruise. Yep. Another reason we love cruising. Mm-hmm. Going along with the theme of having the dessert before the lunch, I tried the oatmeal cookie. I think it's better than the chocolate chip. All right, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, yes. The ladies are taking this super seriously. They are trying to get this thing won, get some more medals. I started and I gave up really quickly. It's from what movie? Robin Hood, by which character? Sir He's a, he gave up. <laughs> do, do you feel like you deserve a medal? Never if, if, if they win this? The yeah, I literally in my wedding vows it says if my wife it? wins a medal, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's our, hers? Mine and mine is hers. Right, yeah, yeah exactly, that's it. Yep. 15 out of 40. 20 out of 40. Uh oh. 30 out of 40. Not looking good. How many did you get? 40. You got 40? Yeah. <laughs> the internet must be strong over there. <laughs> so we moved from uh, Villain Quotes Trivia to Disney Trivia in the D Lounge. This is our team here Jordy, Carrie, and me. That's our teammate. <laughs>
<laughs> if you know, you know. Yep. I've got a feeling Junie probably knows these answers just as much as we do. Yeah. Justin, Sherry, Cassidy are trying to figure this out. So is Adam. And Crystal. All right, how do we do, Jordy? 11 out of 11 out of 20. All right, will that do it? Will that do it? Probably not. Four times or more. Seven or more. Nine or more. Twelve or more. Oh. Got back to the room and we updated our magnets to be Sailor Pluto. And Alyssa is back in here. So this is probably one of our favorite things to do on a cruise. Is just stand up on deck 10 watching the sunset. When it, the sun's setting, it is amazing. Oh, and we also are having our affogados. <laughs> <laughs> the weather today has been so good. Yeah. We're finally. so happy to have a day at sea finally with good weather. And that sun is looking incredible. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, I looked right at it. That wasn't smart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sunset it's is so incredible. Pretty. You want to look at it, but it burns your eyes. I know. Oh my gosh. That is the best. Wow. We just got back from having our affogados. You say affogados? Affogados. Disney I, Cruise Line affogados. Yes. I Soft feel, serve and coffee. I feel like I said it wrong. Anyway, <laughs> on our way walking around, we ran into Bruna. She is from Brazil and she works at Pinocchio's Pizza. And she we've we've seen her pretty much every day. She always has the biggest smile on her face. She's, she's the best. She's so sweet and so friendly. And we've talked to her a few times and we decided that she would be a great person to give the gift from um, Adam and Sherry of a, th a thank you the card. The Do Good Project for yeah. the Leg Life Viewer Cruise cruise group yeah so yeah. we talked about that on day one um it's just a little card saying thank you it had five dollars in it we added some Ghirardelli chocolates to it and we gave it to her and i mean it definitely i think made her day yeah uh so bruna if you're watching this thank you for being you yeah like i we we talked to her about like the hours she works and what she does and it's just amazing. And she does this because she really, really enjoys it. She loves working for Disney. She used to work at the parks in the college when she was in the college program. Mm -hmm. And she was able to get a job. This is her first contract, yeah. like she said. So we were so happy to connect with you this week. And we're so, it's our pleasure. And we're so happy to give you a little gift. We are so happy uh, to connect with you this week and give that to you. Yeah, and I mean, there's just so many crew members that just have a great smile and just make you feel like family when you're on board. Yeah. Um, Bruna stuck out to both of us because she just has this beautiful smile and is always so happy. And um, it was just really fun to connect with her. But yeah. It was really great that uh, Leg Life had the idea yeah. of doing that as a service project. And I think I'm going to continue that on future cruises. Just um, having at least one special gift to just think about who we're going to yeah. give to during the week. And then, you know, towards the end, giving it to that yeah. person, making it special. If you're watching this because you're going on a cruise and you want to have an idea of what it's like to go on a Disney cruise or on the Magic or wherever... Maybe that inspires you guys as well to think of doing something similar for the crew because they are amazing. Uh, we've had a number of crew this week. Our, our stateroom host, Jerich, and our dinner servers, they've been so, so great. They're amazing. And I mean, I think people always talk about the servers and the stateroom hosts and they are amazing, but there are crew all over the ship. And so that's why I love this idea is just to find somebody who you notice all week is just yeah. giving amazing service and saying thank you. Cause yeah. I don't think they get that thanks as often. Yeah. So. That was fun. Um, now we are going to 90s trivia. 90s which, music trivia. Yes, which I feel like is the only kind of trivia I would ever be good at. <laughs> so I'm so excited. And that's one of the fun things about Day at Sea is you can fill it with whatever you want to do. It's been a little bit of a few things today, but trivia, we, I've done three trivias. You've wow. done one with me. You already and, did three or this well, will be your this third? Will be my third. Okay. Yeah. I did a lot of reading, which was fantastic. That's great. And looking at water, which I also love. Yep. And we just saw a beautiful sunset. So far, an amazing day at sea. Yep. We want to show you one more place on the ship. It's in an 18 and up area in O'Gill's Pub. And you can actually get food in here. That's included with the cost of your cruise. 
They got wings, they got hot dogs, they got some veggies and a nacho bar, and our favorite sauerkraut with hot dogs. We love that. It's such a good uh, snack to have and a great option if you just want a quick bite to eat and you're in the adult area. So here we go with 90s music trivia. We are team feeling old. Yeah. So update on 90s music trivia. It's going good so far. Oh yeah, we know this one. By the way, there are a lot of people here. A lot of 90s music fans. We feeling good? Yeah. Yeah. Are we? Feeling really good actually. Are we ready? <laughs> just in general, just in general. So we got 28 out of 30. Let's see what happens. I feel like we might have a team in here that gets 30. We'll see. Is 27 or more correct? Woo! 28 or more correct? Service. 29 or more correct? Dizzy oh. could suck the Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> that was awkward. That was not. <laughs> Carrie is hanging out with the girls in Keys, getting a few drinks while I am gonna head in to Lumiere's for dinner tonight. It's lobster night, but it's also we are having Indian food, like family style, served at our table, which is something you have to request ahead of time. Super looking forward to this. Table 30 and Justin is dressed up, looking slick tonight. Oh, I thought it was fancy night. I'm ready to go. Dang. You're looking good too, Renata. You dressed up, man. We missed the memo. We didn't get the memo. We are at Lumiere's tonight, and half the table is dressed up, and half the table isn't. Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah, I must have missed the text. Yep, I got. I didn't. I missed the memo. I saw it, but I didn't feel like dressing up. Oh well, thanks for saying something. Optional dress up, baby. <laughs> You're right. I'm wrong. I have the eggplant appetizer. So I love eggplant and I'm excited about that. This is my second eggplant today. I had eggplant. Carrie loves the eggplant. Me, I not so much. It actually it. looks really good. Eggplant pizza done for you. This is all mine. Is that stuffed with something? Yeah, cheese. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Eggplant is a hard thing to do because if you overcook it, it's rubbery and hard. That's how I've always had it. This is good. I remember I got this on the um, Fantasy and I didn't like the sauce, but this is really good. Here is my Oysters Rockefeller and my aged prosciutto with Parmesan cheese. And I had these, I think, on the Fantasy or the Wonder, and I actually liked it. We also tried the baked oysters when we were in New Orleans the other night. That was really good too, so I think I might like these again. All right, here we go with these oysters. Pretty sure the oysters that we had in uh, New Orleans are probably going to be better than this. Can't hurt to try. All right, it's not bad. The char-grilled um, oysters in New Orleans, better than these, but these are not bad. This is the white onion soup. We heard earlier from our friend Jordy that this was one of the best things for tonight, and she was right. It's really delicious. Lindsay was one of the first at our table to get the lobster. That's her. Let me try the lobster. Nice. Okay. I swallowed the shell. You'll be okay. It's calcium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never really been one for lobster, but I wanted to try it. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, you should get lobster. It's really good. I don't care. It's not my favorite dish. Oh, look at that. I think oh, the lobster is still good. And my first two items came for my entree. I got venison medallions with crispy potato croquettes and red cabbage. And then, of course, I got the baked lobster right there with uh, some drawn butter. But they are just now bringing the family style Indian curry with way too much, but not enough rice. Right, Lens? <laughs> Here's our head server separating the tail from the shell. Thank you very much. Lindsay also ordered the vegetarian dish, which is also a coconut curry, I think, with vegetables. It's good. It doesn't taste like coconut. It tastes more like, like butternut squash, but it's really good. I think we've gotten this before on a seven night cruise. It's pumpkin. Pumpkin. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like pumpkin curry. It's really good. I like it. So our Indian food came. We have rice in two bowls, and we have three dishes. I'm not sure what they are. I didn't order an entree because I knew we were getting this. The Indian food, I've tried a little bit of all of it. The shrimp with potatoes so good it's definitely the spiciest of all of them but it is amazing and Carrie has something to say too the eggplant vegetable dish was really good but they're all really good yeah there was a prawn one a vegetable one and an eggplant one which is also vegetables but they all had a different 
flavor combination that I cannot describe because I don't know those flavors, but they're really good and different. But two of them were quite spicy, even though we asked for mild. Yeah, the, egg, the eggplant seemed to be the least spicy. The other vegetarian one also had really good flavor. My favorite being that shrimp one. It was really smoky, really just had a good bite. So glad we got this family style Indian meal. Also the venison medallions, those were amazing. I've had venison before. It was wild game and it was very gamey. This is not at all. So the venison was good. The lobster was really good too. I'm trying really hard not to eat too much but I've got the Tums on standby, just in case. Good friends, this is a great night for dinner. So of course on a night when we already have a lot of amazing food, we gotta get dessert. It's just how, that's the rule. That's how Disney Cruise works. I got the Captain's Table Sunday, which is mint chocolate ice cream topped with chocolate sauce, whipped cream and a crunchy meringue, which I'm sure Alyssa will like. Actually Alyssa will eat the uh, chocolate garnish. I also got a raspberry vanilla creme brulee. Creme brulee is one of my favorites, so I've got to try that. And also the chocolate lava cake with that melting ice cream. I've got to get on that soon before it all melts away. But it that just looks incredible. Well, you can tell from uh, the view of this, we couldn't stand our desserts. Not one bit. That lava cake was amazing. Yeah. And the ice cream sundae was really good too. And my creme brulee was incredible. It could have had a little more uh, Raspberry nip. And the uh, apple pie looks really good, but I'm not gonna go there because I'm about to explode. Alyssa is in a food coma. Yanupa, our server, who's been so amazing this week, is gonna make something really fun. <laughs> We're all filming this. And one of the cool things is Adam uh, got a bunch of comments from a picture he posted of Yanupa about a bunch of viewers of Leg Life that have had Yanupa before and just think she's the best. And they're right, she is the best. She is an artist. Look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. I am not taking that last bite, even though I really, really want to. I know I'm on vacation, but I don't want want to go to bed dying tonight. It was all so good tonight. Oh my goodness. I need tums. Oh my goodness. That was a good dinner. I think it was the Indian food. Such a good dinner. But we're struggling. <laughs> well, we came back in the stateroom and we got Stitch here with a friend. I want to say it's a bear, a polar bear, some kind of bear. Either way. It's really cute. Of course, we got chocolates that we are not eating tonight. I think we've seen two or three new towel animals on this cruise that we've never had uh, made before by our stateroom hosts. And Jarrett, our stateroom host, is amazing. Obviously, he's done a great job. Got a few things from our stateroom, which really just means Tums. Now we're going into Fathoms for a game show and 18 and up karaoke. All right. Hey, my friend Crystal. Tell us where you're from. Colorado. Yeah! That's the one! If we have time for food or rent, to say the least, we were hard pressed. Right, Woo! Mama spent every last penny we had to buy me a dancing dress. Justin from Idaho. He's ready. Right. Let's go, Jay Z. Woo! He's singing Itsy Bitsy Spider. All right, Justin. <laughs> <laughs>
after a fun night of, well, filling night of dinner and a fun night of uh, game shows and karaoke and fathoms with an adults only crowd. It was a lot of fun uh, seeing people go up there singing, especially a few of our friends. We're going to call it a night. We're really tired. Uh, the we girls are still out with friends. They should be back any minute, though. They better be. Yep. Uh, one of our, I don't know if we've shared this. One of our rules is be back in the stateroom by midnight. And so for us, that's just uh, important to know kind of that they'll be here at a certain time. If um, not, then we can go looking for them. Yeah, but honestly, nothing great happens after midnight uh, on the no. ship. Honestly, I don't think anything happens after midnight. Well, on the ship, no activities are happening past yeah. midnight, even in the teen and tween clubs. So for us, it works. Normally, we would close out the video here at the end of the day. Uh, any any highlights? It was just such a long day. I mean, in a good way. We did a it lot. It was nice to have such a long, like day of doing lots of fun yeah. things and also a lot of relaxing. Yeah, we did. We did both, which is great. The chocolate and liqueur tasting with Overbex was really fun. That was that was probably one of my highlights as well. Yeah. Um, dinner I, was awesome. Dinner was really good. Sitting and reading my book was great. <laughs> doing trivia with friends was a lot of fun too. Yeah, 90s trivia was good. Yeah. I felt like I finally knew something. <laughs> Maybe not Disney. <laughs> no, I know, I know 90s music. That's about it. Yep. Like I said just a moment ago, normally we would end the video here, but that's not going to happen this time. Tomorrow, we're actually going to not carry this camera, you know, the one with the big mic on it around. We're not going to vlog tomorrow, uh, even though we might catch a few things on video with my phone. And then what we're going to do is wrap things up in New Orleans. So we'll wrap up the trip. Uh, the vlog series at that point there and we're looking forward to sharing that with you guys so we will see you guys well probably just in a few minutes hi <laughs> and Alyssa and Lindsay are back in time it's 11 59 so good job right girls on time good job girls well, we made it back to New Orleans and we've been here for uh, a good portion of the day today. We uh, disembarked this morning from the magic, which you can kind of see in the background if you zoom in a little bit. Yesterday, our last day at sea, uh, like we said earlier, we didn't vlog, uh, but we did capture a few things with our camera of uh, just some of the fun highlights from our day, as well as just some of the fun highlights uh, of what we did here in New Orleans. Uh, today uh, before we close out the vlog. So we want to show you guys just a little bit of that. Our last at sea day on day six was amazing. The weather was the best we'd had all trip. And we started that day by having our last viewer meetup that the legs put together. It was so fun seeing so many viewers from Leg Life and our channel and others' channels. The best part about staying after the group photo was hanging out and talking to people and taking pictures with so many as well. This and other meetups like it were some of the best parts of this cruise. It was so incredible meeting so many amazing people. We were just blown away by everyone's kindness, everyone's generosity. We absolutely loved the privilege and the ability to go on this cruise to meet so many of you guys and others. And we're forever gonna remember this. After the meetup photo, we went to breakfast at Cabana's and they had Mickey Churro waffles. We're so glad. We love Mickey Churro waffles. It was just an amazing morning, picture perfect at sea. Later that afternoon, Carrie and I got lunch at Cabana's, which was the first time we got lunch at Cabana's the whole cruise. We decided to sit up top on deck 10 in a quiet spot on the deck right next to Apollo. And we made sure no one was there in Apollo because we didn't want to block their view. But it was such a nice, peaceful time just to enjoy lunch together. Carrie and I spent the rest of the afternoon hanging out on deck 10, enjoying the views, catching water slides, laying out in the sun, reading books, and meeting characters. Well, at least one of us got to high five Goofy. <laughs> And did I say the weather was the best day we had all cruise? It was so peaceful, so relaxing. And you could tell we were getting back to the Gulf of Mexico because we saw oil rigs everywhere we looked. One of our favorite things to do on Ad Sea Day is to hang out on the deck 10, watching the sun go down and taking pictures with the sunset. It was amazing. Me, Alyssa, and some friends were hanging out on the ship and we stumbled upon the Till We Meet Again party and we found a really good spot even though it had already started. And um, we were able to see and high five a lot of the characters and princesses and it was really fun. 
One of the best parts about cruising with friends was doing all the trivias and we did one more before the cruise wrapped up. Unfortunately, we also lost this one too. Our last night for dinner was at Animator's Palette, and it was a fun, fun night. It was also the animation magic show where you draw characters and they come to life later in dinner after dessert. Dinner was so good. They brought out our appetizers. For the second night in a row, our servers brought us Indian food, served family style, and that was great again. We also had Beef Wellington, which was really, really good too. And of course, we had to try almost all the desserts, which were all incredible. One of the viewers bought our entire table a bottle of Clot and Blue that we all shared and tried. It was so good. Cheers! <laughs> Honestly, the best part of that was trying to get Landon to finish off the bottle by drinking from the bottle itself. <laughs> of course, we had to show you our last towel animal that our state remote made for us, but we went to Fathoms to finish off the night. The magician Eric Jones, who performed the night before, we didn't actually catch that show, but we decided to go see him in Fathoms for the adults only show that he did, and it was so good. We finally got back to our stateroom, and you could tell just by looking at the water from our balcony that we were back on the Mississippi River. We woke up to this view out of our balcony, and we knew we were back in New Orleans, and it was sad to leave the ship, but we decided to go to Cabanas for breakfast with friends as the last thing we were gonna do, and then we disembarked off the magic, and we caught our final few glimpses of her as we were leaving. We picked up our luggage, said goodbye to the magic one last time as we were driving away, and then we headed to New Orleans where we were gonna hang out for the day and do a few more fun things. We ended up booking a place to put our luggage using the Bounce app again that we used on our first cruise in San Diego, and it was so, so helpful. We ended up hanging out on Frenchman Street and really enjoyed that area. It was so fun and we really wanna go back there. We happened upon this really cool bookstore on Frenchman Street, and as I was looking through some books, there was a picture of a guy, and I found out his name was Amzie Adams and we remembered we actually met him earlier as we were exploring in New Orleans just in that area. It was kind of funny that we had met a local New Orleans celebrity and we didn't even know it. After that, we ended up doing the hop on hop off tour. Doing the hop on hop off tour, we were able to see so much more of New Orleans than we were able to see before the cruise when we stayed in the French Quarter area. It was so cool to see the Superdome, some of the really old above ground cemeteries they have in New Orleans and so many other things that we weren't able to see before the cruise. After the hop on hop off tour, we were able to get beignets one more time, this time at Cafe Beignet, which we hadn't tried yet. And they were so, so good. They even served one to us with some chocolate sauce and that was really tasty too. After that, we decided to head over to the Mississippi River so the girls could actually put their hands in the Mississippi River, which was kind of fun. And while we were there, we saw some fighter jets fly overhead. Then we went to the French market to shop for souvenirs one last time before heading to the airport to fly home. We had a short stop over in Denver and it started snowing as we were waiting for our flight to take us home to Sacramento. Well, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for following along with the series. If you haven't already, we'd love it if you subscribe, hit that notification bell for more videos. But mostly we just wanna say we appreciate you and thank you and we love you. For those of you we met on the cruise, it was so fun meeting you. Um, thank you so much for just encouraging us. It has been so much fun. See you next time. Yep, see you back at home when we get home. Bye. Bye. Bye.